post college, uh, did you go into the workforce? Were you just still living off the gigs that you were getting? Uh, uh both. I was working part time. Uh, I was still working at Foot Locker, uh, and I was do I was doing my my primary income was DJing though. Okay. So um and and Foot Locker was kind of like a uh, a steady check just in case I needed to, to pay a bill here or there. Right. Uh, so I'd have something steady, but in my mind, you know, when I was doing the clubs, I had I had, I I knew the club owner and the club owner at at this point in time in 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 Chattanooga that was really. There was really only two guys that you could really call on to DJ in Chattanooga if you really wanted your party to jump. It was me and another guy uh, named DJ Mix, who's uh, one of my OGs. Uh, but it was either him or me. So, and I couldn't do everything. He couldn't do everything. So, he and I always had work, you right. know. So, um, if I couldn't do something, he was doing it. If he couldn't do something, I was doing it. If you wanted me, I would be over here. If you wanted him. You go over, you know, you go over to his way. Um, but I was able to maintain uh, a living just off just off of the DJ work I was doing. I was, but I like I mentioned before, I had a sneaker habit, and I would, you know, I wanted, I was, I wanted to buy shoes all the time, and I was, uh, I was young and and being foolish uh, and irresponsible financially with my money. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was, you know, I guess in, in hindsight, it was smart for me to keep my my job at the at the sneaker shop just just because, you know, and 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 at that time, and at that time, I wasn't, I, I I was sure that I wanted to DJ, but I was I was unsure if this was capable of being a real career yet. So, uh, and that might have been had that might have had something to do with my mother putting the doubt in my mind, saying, hey, you know, you need to have a steady job. You know, just because I want to even say I don't really want to say putting doubt in my mind, but you know, just being careful, just telling me just be careful. You know, what you're doing. You know, because she didn't really understand it, so she saw it as unstable. So she she wanted me to have some sort of security, or like a, a regular paycheck is, is security. I think that's natural for all parents, especially when it comes to DJing, because you know, in our parents' generation, when they think of DJing, they think of yep. you know, uh somebody's fiftieth birthday party yep. and the guy over there in the corner with the mobile setup. <laughs> That's right. Like, is that a really a career? Mm-hmm. You know, and, and you know how it is when you meet a girlfriend's parents or something like that and you tell them what you do, it's just like what? <laughs> you know Man, what I mean? One of my ex girlfriend's parents is one of the reasons I I really started to go hard mm-hmm. for DJing because I was I she he he straight up told me that my job wasn't a real job straight up told me to my face. Mm-hmm. But you know, shout out to him because here I am twenty years later, yeah, still doing it. Yeah. <laughs>